Hello and welcome back to the third video for Topic 1, System Fundamentals, and this is for the IB Diploma in Computer Science. We're looking at 1.1.3, Compatibility Issues Resulting from Situations Including Legacy Systems or Business Mergers. Okay, so Topic 1, System Fundamentals, if we're doing the standard level course, this is out of four topics, the higher level of course has another three. So here we go. For the first part, 1.1, Systems in Organizations, we are here currently here. We've also got to look at user focus, we've got to look at system backup, common cause of data loss and software deployment. But we'll get started with 1.1.3. So when two companies merge it's essential to make sure their systems can work together seamlessly. Obviously we're talking about their computer systems. This is computer science. A business merger is like when two companies come together to work as one. It can be a bit like mixing two different colors to create a new one. So what are some of the challenges that businesses might face um, in terms of the computer systems during a merger? Okay, well there may be language differences. I mean, some people use different words or understand words in different ways, which can make it hard to talk to each other. So imagine, look at this, we've got two friends and they come from different countries and they're struggling to talk to each other. It's exactly the same way if we've got two different computer systems using two different languages. The famous Apple and Microsoft gives you a good clue as to what's going on here. Software incompatibility. Imagine if you have a special video game, something for the PS5, and it only works on that one type of game console, and you want to take it around to your friends, but they've got a, um, an Xbox. It's not going to work. And that's like software incompatibility. Different computer programs might not work well on the same computer system. Okay. Um, legacy systems. Here we go. Legacy systems are like really old technology and old computer stuff, like ancient video games or outdated computers. They're not as cool or as efficient as new stuff, but some people still use them and might prefer to use them. So imagine, here we go, imagine using your grandparents' phone to send a text message. It might not be as efficient or reliable as a modern phone, and this can be similar in business mergers. Okay, well that's legacy systems. Some legacy systems obviously can't easily adapt to modern needs. Just like um, if we're using a VHS player, or, or even now a days a DVD player or a CD player in the age of um, sort of streaming services such as Netflix. It can be a real challenge for businesses with this whole technology. When businesses try to maintain these legacy systems, it can get messy and costly, similar to rearranging a cluttered, cluttered or messy room. Okay, using old technology can cause problems. Also, it's expensive to change legacy systems because programs might be disorganized and documentation might be missing. It's like renovating a messy room. You need to invest a lot to make it functional again. Compatibility issues often arise due to old programming languages or old database technologies. It's like trying to understand a language or technology from the past. Very difficult to translate and, and make it easy for the majority of people to be able to understand it. But you might also find you've got recruiting issues there might be challenges there in terms of finding people who are familiar with that particular old technology or that uh, particular technique and how something has been done. Um, legacy mainframes can be large and complex, might like solving a very complex jigsaw. And again, this could lead to security vulnerabilities and um, yeah, things not working quite as efficiently as they should. So in terms of the merger itself, what can we do with the systems that are in place? Obviously, each company will have some kind of system. Obviously, if the companies are far away and the, and the workflow is, is okay and there's not going to be a significant difference to, in terms of change for that company, we could keep both systems. If there's going to be a significant difference, obviously, we'll replace both systems. We could combine the best parts of, um, of each system to make one system, or we could decide which one of the systems is the best and stick with that one and just transfer one company over to that one system. So what are the problems here? Just on a side note, I'm using AI to generate these pictures. I hope, I hope you like them. So keeping both systems, what, what are the problems there? Well, one strategy, as I say, is keeping both systems and develop them to have the same functionality. A bit like juggling two balls in the air is possible, but it can get tricky using the same systems, both systems, or even more than one systems in the case of this guy here. Um, this may uh, this might incur high maintenance cost. If you're having to pay maintenance on, on both systems or multiple systems, obviously that could be costly. Okay, different expertise needed in different areas. If we replace both systems, it's like getting a brand new smartphone. 
when the old one is, is, is old and it's too slow, it's costly in the first instance, but it can provide better results. There will be an expensive initial cost. And some employees might get fired or, or well, they might need retaining, but they'll certainly need retraining in terms of um, a new system. Okay. Um, we could combine the best systems. Combine the best systems like mixing the ingredients, taking the bits, the good bits from one system and the good bits from another, mixing them all together and um, doing some experimentation to see which is the perfect blend. I mean, this is going to take time. There's going to be lots of testing needed. And it might be difficult for employees to, to work, similar to um, installing a brand new system. Um, lots of testing, as I've just said, would be required. We could use only one system. We could look at the systems and pick our favorite one, a bit like choosing our favorite ice cream. But which one would work best for our business and, and why? We would need to justify the reasons why we would pick that particular systems. There may be problems within the company policies and employment issues in terms of using one particular system over another one. Okay, so in conclusion, so obviously addressing compatibility issues is crucial for a successful merger. It's like shaking hands symbolizing a successful partnership. Okay, to make a successful merger, the company, the systems need to be in place or a system needs to be in place which will work for both the companies involved in the merger. Okay, that is it for this video. That is it for 1.1.3. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Bye for now. Please continue to ask questions, leave your comments, hit notifications and please subscribe. And finally, if you wish to buy me a coffee, I'd be truly grateful. Please visit buymeacoffee.com forward slash learning zone. Thank you very much indeed. See you next time. Bye for now.